All right, enough talking about how the NHL sucks. People who play for the NHL suck. People who are involved with the NHL suck. Let's talk about how all that applies to the NFL as well. <laughs> also, shout out to the breaking news of Josh Rosen signing with the Atlanta Falcons. Clearly, we should replicate that. Last night, uh, we stopped after a draft, our season three draft. It was hit or miss. I decided to set the team up off stream to save time. So allow me to recap what has happened with your Falcons. So uh, we uh, signed Dante Hightower, which is great. Uh, we released the kicker that we drafted. We traded corner Joey Gilbert to the Dolphins for a seventh. We uh, got rid of a random corner in Whitfield and Cheeks. We traded Tremont McCord to the Broncos for a fifth. We traded or got rid of Demarcus Bruce. We changed Carlos Franklin to a safety. We traded Richie Grant, who the game tried to screw me out of uh, by giving him the Buffalo to Pittsburgh for a third. We traded safety Chris Barnes for a seventh from Kansas City. Uh, we moved a bunch of people around, and I think that was it. If I'm not mistaken, I don't remember if there were any other trades, but we did move people around based off of where they were best suited. We got rid of Dom Kirkpatrick, Malcolm McCoy. Traded Jabari Newkirk to the Steelers for a seventh. And I think that is it. It is not. We, uh, we traded Maurice Childs to the Jets, who was the DT with a ridiculous amount of strength. We traded him for a third and a sixth, or at least uh, with a third, a sixth, him and a sixth for a third. Excuse me. Uh, it sucked to get rid of him, but we have somebody better. Got rid of some uh, random depth that we did not need. Traded Drew Dahlman for a third round pick to Green Bay. Again, just cut a lot of uh, a lot of depth. A lot of guys that we had signed to see if they were worth keeping. Signed uh, Gus Edwards, Taysom Hill. Traded fullback Alex Ingold to the Dolphins for a fifth. So yeah, we were uh, we were busy. We were very busy in terms of the moves that we made to set up this team. Deion Jones is still on the team. I saw the Spider-Man trailer. Eh. Eh, I don't know. I didn't see anything from me where I'm like, that's incredible. I'm like, yeah, it'll probably be good. So our roster then for this season, we're down to the 53-man team. This is what we got. Quarterback Colt Johnson, Matt Ryan, Taysom Hill as the backups. Running back, it's going to be Edwards Hilaire as our number one. Beverly will still be the second choice. Gus Edwards signed as the third choice because why the hell not? We have the money. Uh, fullback, of course, Jerry Peters, who we drafted in the seventh round. Uh, hidden dev fullback, which is hilarious. Wide receiver core. It is Calvin Ridley, Terry McLaurin. Uh, Sterling Shepard is our fifth choice behind Greg Hardwick and Joe Holcomb. So again, stacked. Uh, tight end, Kyle Pitts. We also have Sebastian Bolin and not Austin, but Aiden Matthews, who was a bust from the draft. The O-line, Eric Colbert, Alex Blackburn, Taylor Luan with Matt Hennessy serving in a backup role for the season. Uh, Garrett Bradbury and Chris Lindstrom. Defensive end, Casey Austin and J.D. Davison for the second year in a row. Defensive tackle, Kevin Wilcox and Marcus Kennard, who we picked up in the drafts. Uh, linebackers, Cortland Ellington, Deion Jones, Chris Barnes, and Marcus Davenport. Corners, A.J. Terrell. Jamel Dean, Derek Bell, who was uh, kind of kind of a disappointment. Paul Reddick, Jeff Merritt. Safeties, Marcus Peters was worth moving over to safety instead of having a corner. Keith Bernard, not even more behind him. The other safety, of course, is Alex Thomas. Kicker, Tyler Bass. Punter, J.K. Scott. Draft pick-wise, we only have our first. We have two seconds, three-thirds, a fourth, three-fifths, and all of the sevenths. That is our current situation hitting, hitting, heading into our fourth season where we hope to be hitting the mark and make it to the playoffs. Indeed, Lawan at center uh, has the highest awareness rating, which is what we've been going off of. So in terms of who gets the attention, I don't know if we want to just focus on our best players again or if we want to kind of spread the love 
I think we might just kind of pass around the uh, the focus for a little bit. I think we might handle it that way. I do not want Gus Edwards in there. He's 29. But at least for uh, starters, we'll focus on everybody. This will probably be Calvin Ridley's last year here. It won't be Terry McLaurin's last year here. Raiden, what's going on? Everybody in here, by the way, that I didn't say hello to. Hello. I hope you're doing well. Um, we had a nice little hockey-related rant to start off this stream because the NHL is a tire fire right now. Let's uh, call a spade a spade. All right, player upgrade. Portland. Ooh, we got a lot of good upgrades. Uh, Ellington will try to make better at pass coverage. Matt Ryan, 69 overall. Indeed. He's old. We traded him to Washington, but we brought him back home. Uh, Hardwick. Let's make better as a route runner. That's a legendary rant. You can always start the stream over to the VOD section to, to catch it out. It will, it'll be topics that I'll talk about a lot. I think Deej and I are recording a show tomorrow. And yeah, I'll be talking about it. <laughs> oh, goodness. And then Dion Jones. Uh, we'll make better as a run stopper. And basically, if anyone's asking what it was about, uh, link in the chat to the athletic article about Evander Kane being an even bigger scumbag. Academic advisor for college canceled on me tonight. Freshman year off to a good <laughs> Enjoy it. Embrace it. Have fun. All right. So preseason game number one against Tennessee is a 14-6 loss. That is not what I was expecting at all. All right. Not, uh, not an impressive preseason debut. Uh, let's get Joe Holcomb in there. I still really want a breakout moment for Joe Holcomb, but I don't think it's going to happen. Let's get Kyle Pitts in there. Ah, uh, Deeds, I did not. Did not see that. Let's get Ridley Shepard. Let's get Bowen in there. Let's get Matthews in there as well for the hell of it. And Colbert. And Holly. So again, we'll do at least a go around here before trying to decide if we want to focus just on star players or not but the all around help and all around improvement of this team is probably for the best as Bolin improves I really would like to get him to a scheme fit but let's make him better as a blocker it's obviously his best role and then Paul Reddick hoping for a breakout moment for him as well this season him a little bit more well-rounded. I think he was a first-round pick last year. We moved him over to safety in his rookie year. And now he's back at corner. Preseason game number two against Buffalo. We lose again. 0-2 in the preseason. Imagine this team doesn't make the playoffs. <laughs> it is just the preseason. We're not going to overreact just yet, but... This team is struggling out of the gates here. Ooh, switch bowling to fullback. We have a fullback better than him, so no. Uh, Lawan doesn't need any training. Let's get Matt Hennessy in there. The Lewin. The Lewin. Uh, Bradbury doesn't need any training, so we'll get Jalen Mayfield. Right tackle. Move these guys over. Mike, you have. I do have a blue Yeti. So, Andrew, you made a good choice. Uh, Warrior, I mean, I just I just ran through the team, so if you missed it, I'm sorry, but you missed it. Uh, Trent is one of the guys that we got. Make him better as a pass protector. He has at least star dev. Problem is, he's 23. So, we'll see what happens. And then Marquise Beverly, I'm not giving up on him. I hope he'll still be... A gem for us. We shall see. We shall see. So, final preseason game against the Baltimore Ravens, who are the masters of the preseason. And we win. Close game, but we win. The funny thing is, with this team, we still have $4 million in gap space. Uh, the draft was okay. 
It could have been a home run, but it wasn't. I was a little bit too passive with that draft. Um, I, I still approached it from the standpoint of let's have a good overall draft instead of just going after star players that I had a good feeling would be star players. And indeed, it turned out they were star players. So I, uh, it was probably my, like, it was okay. It was okay. But it was probably my worst draft so far, just in terms of what it could have been. Uh, Andrew, I always plug uh, the headset into the mic as opposed to the PC. Okay. So, we head to week one, as per usual. It's against New Orleans. It's against New Orleans. We have an 89 rated offense, man. If this team, if we're not following this team on a week by week basis throughout the entire year, That'd be a massive disappointment. All right. On the edge, we're going to have a lot of people to focus on. Hoping NHL doesn't upgrade this like Madden has. Um, I have asked them to do that. They know I would be interested in it. Whether or not that's enough, who's to say? But again, NHL development still like medium elite, medium top six, stuff like that for at least this year. As far as I know. Try to get Kittle. Yeah, I'd have to get him as a free agent. So, we'll see. We shall see. Alright, so our final player upgrades before we start off this season. Colt Johnson. Oh boy, the glitches are back, baby. Are you fucking joking? It was fine all of last night. And now they're, am I gonna have to uninstall the game every night and reinstall it? What the fuck? I can't, we're gonna play so much F1 tonight. We're gonna play so much F1 tonight. I can't wait. EA, you are trash. I, there's, I, I can't put, I can't be nicer than that. I can't be nicer than that. I can't sugarcoat it. Trash. Trash bag. And I'm pretty sure the game just crashed. If one's in the end game. Yeah, but they haven't had time to really sink their, you know, put their hooks into the uh, soon to be just dead carcass of code masters. I got nothing, but just pure, pure disappointment. Imagine disgracing Tom Brady by putting him on the cover of this game. Imagine. I really hope Axis will look even better. I mean, there are other football games. The problem is, like, there are no minor lower level devs that can pull off the type of sim game people are hoping for it really would take not that 2k doesn't have their own issues but it would take ea losing the exclusive license in 2026 that's what it's gonna take <sighs> well let's see if we're allowed to play and if the game crashes in the middle of the game then I'm switching to F1. In doing terms of the X Factors for the team, a stripeless zebra. Hits us up with the eight months. Again, I watched the Spider Man trailer, and that was kind of indifferent. Uh, Alvin Kamara, Michael Thomas, they also have the Ramshack and Teron Armstead. We have Kyle Pitts as an incredible X Factor, Calvin Ridley as an incredible X Factor, Deion Jones as an incredible X Factor. Brent, I said the same thing. Uh, Marcus Davenport with abilities, Thomas with abilities, Wilcox with abilities. It is the start of our fourth season. Our fourth gosh darn dang season already here in Atlanta because we've made pretty fast progress and Beckham looks like he'll be their starter here in different spider -Man. Like what was overly exciting about the Spider-Man trailer? That's right, I said it. Oh man, they have Doc Ock as the villain because we didn't see that 20 years ago. But it's different this time. 
okay if it's for you cool but it is what it is spider-man video game was incredible main villain doc ock i'm like cool that's fine boy i wonder what's gonna happen so I will still watch the movie, but oh, week number one. Week number one. Let's do this. Let's do it. Through the first quarter, we go. Three to nothing, Saints. Cody Parkey hit a field goal. What do you know? We'll go to the half. 7 to 3 Atlanta, 10 7 Orleans. 14 10 Atlanta, 17 14 24 to 14 at the half. Hawks that has nothing to do with preferring Toby Maguire. It's just again like all right. Like I get the idea. It's like all right. What are we going to do? We're going to bring back the same villains. Okay? I mean, I guess you have to but all right. Let's see, it was a parky field goal. Edwards Hilaire has his first touchdown with the team. Kamara with a touchdown. Kyle Pitts with a touchdown. And then Kamara and Callaway. Damn. Well, we're not totally out of this game yet. I'm saying it's fine, but I'm not going to be one of the people who's like, oh my God, I came all over my desk from that trailer. Like, it was fine. It was fine. That's it. It was fine. To the fourth quarter we go. 24 to 21. Oh, 31 to 21. You. We are down by 10. Gary, thank you for the follow. It broke new ground. Did it though? Oh my God. We're bringing back villains we've had before and we're still doing the multiverse idea. And it won't be as good as the animated multiverse movie, but we have the multiverse. Ooh. It'll be fine. It might even be great. But I mean, that trailer, I don't know, man. Again, I'm not... I'm not ready to riot off a trailer. Edward Hilaire has two touchdowns in this game. Yet we still trail by 10. Nothing could be as good as Spider-Verse. Exactly, as we throw an interception, which means this game is probably done. We are down by 17 with 10 minutes left. Let's see what we can do. Can we battle back is the question. I don't like that. I don't like that either. Now here's a whistle Somebody jumped. Edward Solaire was a free agent signing. And somebody on offense jumped. Love to see it. Good play for Edward Solaire there. Pick up a 10. Playing the college football game at the same time. I mean, probably. Just hope it's not trash. Wow. All right. Well, we'll throw this one short. Back to throw. Johnson. Looking sideline incomplete. The intended target was Calvin Ridley, and it's third and five. Fuck. My top two targets. I wanted to see if they'd get open. Neither of them did. Johnson. What a catch by Ridley. Ridley's having trouble getting separation from whoever's on him. Which is a problem. Get rid of that shit. They covered that perfectly. Thank you, Hardwick, for holding on to that. We are in trouble. Do I like the camera shake? I mean, it's annoying as shit. I can see how some people would have a problem with it in terms of it being, like, sickening. Let's go, Pitts. All right. Got a little bit of that momentum down. 
Two third down conversions this drive. I'd love to be able to hand it off to Edwards Hilaire, but. Wide open, it's Hardwick. We're marching. We're marching. Now might be the time to be able to get it to Edwards Hilaire. All right, Clyde, let's do it. Good blocking. Edwards Hilaire stopped at the line. Tried to truck him. We really needed that to go through. Fan boy. The man was a fan oh, boy. Emily, thank you for the 21. And touchdown. Third of the game for Mr. CEH. Emily, thank you for the 21. Beat the Chiefs in the Super Bowl, forcing two interceptions and a forced fumble. Did you at least have a breakout moment to go along with it? Three rushing touchdowns for Mr. Edwards Hilaire in his debut. See what the defense can do here. This game's over. You walk the door on them instead. They still open a little bit. Let's see what the defense can do. We might have a chance to fight back here. I will say I'm very nervous about the fact that our defense just gave up 38 points. It's worrisome. Well, they are throwing the ball here. Interesting. And it was Hawkins. Wilcox. Wilcox! Get him! <laughs> oh, we needed the. That would have been a massive loss of yardage. We needed that. Problem is, Beckham's fast, too. It's the reason why we almost took him. They're going to throw again. Check down. Just let him make the tackle. And one more stop. They got the first down out of that. Never mind. I didn't think they got the first down out of that. Well, unfortunately, not uh, stopping Beckham on that play really boned us. Again, this is Camara, and very little room to maneuver. He'll get this down about the 39. A gain of three, second down. The man coverage here, I don't trust it. Come on, Davis, and break free. Son of a bitch. Ugh. They're getting dominated by the row line. That's the problem. All Davison had to do was shed one uh, one attempt there. Couldn't do it. Just going to pressure that O-line. we got to break through. And all right. Okay. All right. So zone coverage isn't working. Man coverage isn't working. Blitzing isn't working. Right. Please just crush him. Let's go, McLean. Really would have preferred a fumble, but good play from McLean. So we do get that big loss in yardage. Not when we really needed it, because they're killing more time. But we cannot let them get a first down here. That would be a disaster. Big hit. Deion Jones, here we go. Third and 11, we need this stop. We absolutely need this stop. Come on, boys. Will Cox break through. He's going to run it all the way. Senpai, I don't think I have to answer that question. And that's the ball game. Well, we had a chance to come back in this game, but we're going to fall short. Is it worth it to buy this game at this point? No. No, it is not. I would wait until Black Friday. Do not pay full price for this game in the state that it's in right now. I don't say that because I just gave up a touchdown. I say that because the game has crashed on me more times than I can count. Well, we have three minutes. Uh, we have to bomb it down the field, which they know we're going to try to throw deep. 
We have to get the ball back. Why? I mean, it's a three possession game again. I saw Ridley there, but hit him with their own medicine a little bit. Is the crashing issue fixed? No, it has already crashed tonight. So very much not fixed. Again, I can't afford to go with any deep passes. They're going to be all over it. What a fucking jump, man. And then I just glitched right through him. All right, well, this one's over. I would have had Ridley, but right here, Beverly decided to try to run back into the middle of the field. I don't know if it was to open up space or not, but him moving over results in that corner that's on him pinching into the middle, and it gave him the time to jump up and get that. And then right here, I might just play F1 tonight. I might just play F1 tonight, guys. I'm, I might need a break from this game for a day. I might, I might need a break for today. Like, fuck, fuck better view counts. Mental health's more important. And I mean... No, we haven't, AJ. And that one will pretty much erase any hopes of a fourth quarter well. comeback. With emphasis, interception, return for touchdown. Door closed. I mean, this game is over before the pick six. But again, Beverly fucked us by trying to, I guess, run from the sideline into the middle to make space for Johnson to take off I and then even though I'm protecting the ball we fumble holding right bumper to protect the ball we still fumble boy do you think we were meant to lose this game I'll take the fucking hint Jesus Christ I will take the fucking hint holding right bumper to protect the ball did not matter just crushed all right, well, we're 0-1 on the season. So the game's already crashed on me tonight. And then uh, gameplay also turns out to be a bit of a shit show. That's cool. Cool, cool, cool. So, um... Oh, good, and we have an injury, too. Oh, good, and our... Secondary and middle linebacker Barnes is out and Terry McLaurin got hurt. Good. Good, good, good. Okay. All right. All right. Well. At least McLaurin's back. We'll see what happens against Tampa. This has been a hell of a first half an hour on Madden, let me tell you. This has been one hell of a way to start a stream. <laughs> I think we have seen the worst of Madden 22 within the first half an hour of this stream. Pretty impressive. This game wasted no time in showing us uh, how it was going to set the stage tonight. <laughs> Hi, Crash. How are you? <sighs> okay. Can't hide my frustration. Quite obviously frustrated. There shouldn't have been a pick six there. Probably shouldn't have been a fumble there. Um, but we, we move on. We move on. With only one loss, we can still uh, we can still make the playoffs quite easily, obviously. Long way to go this season. Especially because the NFL added a regular season game for the sake of money. 
Let's take on Tampa. I'm intrigued to see if Gardner Minshew is still their QB. They have Evans, Barrett, and Ford with X-Factors. And a lot of superstar abilities, even. I mean, they're still an 86-rated team. So, like, they still have the capability here of uh, doing some damage. And indeed, Gardner Minshew is still their quarterback. He is beautiful. We are just a few miles from the Gulf Coast of Florida at Raymond James Stadium here in Tampa. The scene a few moments ago, here it is. It's they do love their flyovers. Sport as both teams made their way out of the All right, tunnel. let's see what These happens in week number two. First quarter. Three to nothing, ten to nothing, Atlanta. Again, Edward Solaire had three rushing touchdowns and we still lost. The well, dude kept running even though. Oh yeah, Venom, it was great, wasn't it? It was great. Well we move on. 10-7. 13-7. Seven. 13-7 seven. Seven at halftime, not bad. Uh Endo I do. Let me see if I can find it. 13-7 is the score. There's definitely one American Jets. <laughs> Let's see what happens here. One score game still. Tampa ties it at 13 apiece. The extra point was blocked. The only reason why we're tied. 20-13. A Colt Johnson to Kyle Pitts touchdown. 20-20. And O.J. Howard touchdown. Well, let's see if the boys can get anything going offensively here while I send Endo what he just asked for. Here's Johnson. On Come on, Colt. Colt. Oh, my God. That's going to be picked. Thank God that was technically out of bounds. Jesus. Oh, Colt. And a missed throw. Schnoz, what's up, buddy? Hope the trip was solid. We are uh, enjoying the wonders that Madden has to offer. Isn't it wondrous? Third and ten. Colt caught. Thank God. We do get a first down. That's hard with. And though if this one doesn't work, let me know. I have a couple other different uh, pictures of that ridiculousness. Let me see. And of course, it's Twitter. It won't let you multi-select. So, you know, sent you two to pick from for now. Let me know if they work. All right. Come on, Colt. Hand off. Oh, baby. Oh, my God. He got lit up. Edward Solaire's fast as hell, though, man. Banana bread, maybe even better by the take two. Oh, good I have for you! Uh, Centurio, thank you very much for the follow, by the way. Um, yeah. <laughs> I wish I was in higher spirits right now, but we'll wait to see if this team can manage to go 2-2. Two 2-2, and 1-1, two. Two and 0-2 two. One and one. Oh and two is what I was thinking of. Colt, please. Colt, please. Colt, you have all the time in the world, and you still threw an interception! What?! You had time to bake a fucking cake and eat it too, and you fucking still threw a pick. Look at that great zone defense. Dude. He's fucking wide open over there. And you... Th That's who he tried to throw it to. And of course, instead of just fucking staying there, he tried to take off upfield. And Colt tried to lead him. 
Let's see if they blow it. Fuck it. Let's see if the defense can hold on. Yeah, he could have scrambled right up the middle. Uh, is Minshew gonna win this for the Bucks? Or are we gonna fall to 0-2? They'll start the drive with a carry by Jones. Call it a gain of four on first, and that'll make Matt Ryan time. Yeah, maybe. Minshew mania out to the right miss thank god thank god two touchdowns two picks for Minshew boys we need to stop here please 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 he's out question is do we trust this offense to win it now I don't want to sit here and take over and win it for him you can't, you can't do your homework. You know, you can't do your child's homework for him. You gotta, you gotta let them go. You gotta let them sink or swim on their own. Colt, for the love of God, redeem yourself, please. We can't really afford to fall to 0-2, losing two games to division rivals. Good opening run there. And Luan, the Lewin is hurt. We do have Matt Hennessy behind him, though, so that's okay. If he's out long-term, at least. Hand off again. Crushed. I like how that guy fell over. <laughs> he was involved in the play. Barrett's first tackle held him out of the uh, equation. Great read option. Let's go, Colt. Let's go, Colt! Oh, my God, what a run! Don't fumble. Thank you. Wow, what a run by Colt off the option. Whew. Hit that second gear. Okay. All right. We're in field goal range. And off to Mr. Edwards Hilaire. Just shy of the first down. All right. We should be able to kill the clock here. Don't bench me so I can run. Or see, I can run. Pretty much, yeah. Edwards Hilaire, first down. Bit awkward, but he got it. Tampa's got to burn timeouts. Come on. Please. Please. Just, just run the ball. Hold on to it. Don't turn it over. Edwards Hilaire. Pickup of two. Second timeout for Tampa gets burned. Second and eight. One twenty-six to go. Hand off again. Clyde Edwards Hilaire up to the three. And oh, that's hilarious. I'll have to put that on Twitter. Come on, boys. Come on. Running. Running. Did he get the first? Fourth and inches. Oh my god, just kick the field goal. Just kick the field goal. Kick it. Kick it. God, just kick the field goal. Take the points. Take the points. Take the points. Kick it. Kick it, please. God, kick it. Just kick it. Why? God, kick it. Thank you. Just take the points. Just take the points. No fakes, no blocks. Don't miss it. Kick is up. It's good. We have 36 seconds to hold on. They have no timeouts. God help us if we don't win this. Oh my God. All right, please. Just, just shut them down, boys. The defense is obviously the biggest question mark of this team. Please don't blow this against double wrist and Gardner Minshew. He bombs it, double coverage. And the Falcons are going to pick up the win in week two. Marcus Peters, the veteran, moved over to safety, and he finds new life. Double coverage force from Minshew, and Marcus Peters seals the deal. It wasn't pretty, but we got it done. A victory in week two. We are one and one. Thank God. <laughs>
<laughs> and of course as well that was as you know a certain type of victory no touching no touching no touching no touching, no touching. No touching. No interference required. Didn't have to play a single down. Normally, if I have to play, that means it's a comeback effort, which is a bad thing. But, I mean, Colt. Wow, Minshew. Uh, three picks. Colt, though, I mean, 24 of 47. Colt was shit. Colt had a bad game. Edwards and Allaire with 103 yards. The dog is barking. I gotta go see as to why. Give me one sec. All right, we're good. Good news is she didn't wake up the girlfriend. Uh, good news is I didn't find anything outside. She was looking out the front window. No idea what the hell she was looking at, but didn't see anything. So, hey, everything should be fine. Time to consider a new quarterback. I mean, we'll see who's available in the draft. It's pretty much what that comes down to is whether or not there's somebody better. So... And are you going to post all those on uh, Twitter, by the way? Eric Colbert also gets better. Very, very good. Good. All right. Let's see. Oh, good. More injuries. Deion Jones and Lewin. Both out for four weeks. Remember how I said it was a good thing we had depth? In case it gets tested, our depth is getting tested very, very early on in the season. Oh, boy. All right. Week three is against Detroit. God help us, we don't win. Kyle Pitts needs to get paid. Kyle Pitts is on for five more years. J.K. Scott needs to get paid few more seasons for J.K. Scott. This is where some of the money starts to get spent. In terms of available players, for quarterbacks, there are two projected to go in round one. I actually will go ahead and scout quarterbacks this year, just in case. And uh, that might be a mistake. Wolf. Well, Siante Jefferson. We'll see what happens. I don't know if uh, this will necessarily be a great year to switch our loyalty at quarterback. Uh, let's take a look here. Davenport was the last guy that we added. So let's get Scott Simpson some time. Terrell. This team's in 87 and I'm fighting for a division. Ah, uh, Devs. Nope, that's, that's how this game works. 87 rating doesn't mean a goddamn thing for the two Oklahoma quarterbacks in the draft. The magic of EA, that's how. They're just, they, they split time as the starter, you know? They split time as the starter, it's fine. All right, what do we got for upgrades? Mad Hennessy, who will be the starter for the next few weeks. Why I kept him. I didn't plan on replacing Matt Hennessy, but 
Good thing we still have Scotty Simpson. Trying to make him better as a power rusher. At least he's more well-rounded. Uh, Trent Averden on the offensive line. Better as a pass protect option. I actually do have to double check our schemes as well to see if we still have a good fit. And then Blackburn. That beautiful beard of his and a hairline that reminds me of looking at myself in the mirror. Good to go. So, staff, team schemes. What do we got? 95% fit on the vertical zone run. Oh boy. 75 on the three fours. Four three cover three as a 75. As well. 83 for the four six. Again, it all comes down to playbooks though, so we'll just go with the four six. We're still running that Arizona offense, which is fine. And we're still running the Shanahan defense, which is also fine. Fine, in theory. I mean we can't prove that anything else would make it better. Let's take on Detroit. It's our third straight road game as well to start the season, which is crazy. The Lions have Penny Sewell with superstar abilities and Kai Clifford at linebacker. So I'm going to guess Sewell just kind of turned into a monster, which uh, he should have. He absolutely should have. I haven't seen Ford Field in this game yet, though. As, oh my God, is Jared Goff still the quarterback? <laughs> How good does Ford Field look? Ford Field's an amazingly gorgeous stadium, in my opinion. Jared Goff is still their guy. Oh, WrestleMania 23. Oh, Ooh, they have Reverend at wide receiver. I wanted that guy, too. First open in 2002. There's a look yeah, Ford Field looks pretty sick. Here in downtown Detroit, the Motor City. Nothing like the fanfare of introductions to an NFL game. And that you going to do a jet flyover? Fireworks, pyrotechnics, you name it. This crowd is Apparently ready. not. The As game is smart enough to know it's a dome. Between the Atlanta Falcons and the Detroit Lions. All right. Can we move on to 2-1 and one is the question. Let's do it. Let's do it. First quarter. Let's see what we got boost of the Lions. You must eat pant and delete everything. Well, it's 7-all at the end of the first. 14-10. 17-14. 20 to 14 at the half. Two days my nephew will be two months old. Oh, Ender, just wait until he graduates high school. It'll happen to you. Game is smart. I never thought I'd hear that. Hey, you gotta give him some credit, kind of. So, Swift with the rushing touchdown. Edwards Hilaire with a 75-yard run. Bass with a field goal. Swift with a touchdown run. Holcomb with a pass. And then Bass with a field goal. So, 20-14. to 14. Might we be on our way to a no-touching situation? 20-17. to 27-17. 17, 27-20. 27, 17, 27, 20. I don't like how close this is. 34-20. to 20. Leave it to... Uh, Sebastian Bolin of all people to get a 13 yard touchdown so the Lions are forced to punt the score here it should be over there we go 37 to 20 28 yard field goal for Tyler Bass the Lions can't score as Reddick swats it down so this game is over I'm going to take over here because I still want to test out this offense but this game's over we got this in the bag uh, we'll see if we can run here with Edwards Hilaire Couldn't juke him. No, we could. We we're breaking it. And we got it, man, 136 yards on 15 rushes. Like the running game this team has is nuts, by the way. The previous run, good for nine. Here's second and a yard. They'll run here with awful blocking from 66. Absolutely awful. I didn't sprint immediately either. That was horrific. Right, we need some short throws here. Go for the big slide tackle there. One in doubt, run with Colt, take advantage of the speed. I'm going to go for it here. They only got one safety back there. Let's have Bolin block because he's not really a great offensive option. 
Dropped a lot of people back. I was above the uh, line of scrimmage there. Yeah, it's only a five-yard penalty. So it was past the line of scrimmage. Was second and 14. Ron Rivera, the head coach in Detroit, by the way. Uh, I think, again, we'll try play action. Maybe not. We actually don't have a play action option out of this. Pitts. Oof. Good low tackle. Good low tackle. Uh, well, we got the read option. Edwards Hilaire. Beautiful. I really, like, again, I still love Beverly as a running back, but we would have been completely wrong to not go after Edwards Hilaire and to get him on the deal. We got him on his nuts. Let's see what Bev can do here on the draw. Marquise Beverly. Very nice run. It's his first rush attempt of the game, though, which uh, it's a bit sad. Uh, Holcomb is potentially wide open. Let's get him on a zig. Yep, there it is. Beautiful. Holcomb never got a breakout moment, but he's still a fantastic option as a slot receiver. Beautiful. This game was over anyway, so it's not as if we altered the score. We we'll move on to two and one. So a very disappointing loss down in New Orleans, but we've rebounded pretty well. That was nice. Uh, let's see if we can uh, maybe get the ball back one more time. A was even more open, was he? I had just decided that Holcomb was my guy. I didn't even bother looking at other reads. Oh my god, he's dead. How's he getting up? He juked into that hit stick. Fucking hell. Whew. I can't believe that wasn't a fumble. Come on, Wilcox, breakthrough. Am I thinking of continuing the UMass dynasty? I mean, I'll go back to NCAA. It won't be anytime soon. I don't like going from, like, football game to football game. Like, I'll, you know, take a break from football games once we're done with Madden for a bit. But Casey Austin. Oh, my God. I couldn't track him down. He kept sidestepping. What the hell's up with Jared Goff having that level of agility? Um, but, yeah, I mean, we could continue UMass or we could start over. You know? Maybe bring back two Glane would be the better way to go. Wilcox, let's go. There it is. There it is. Poor Jared Goff. They're going to go for it. And the two-minute warning. Are you sure you want to go for it? Are you sure you don't just want to punt? Retro college football. Yeah, I mean, NCAA 13 is always a good option. Oh, Goff heaves it. Heaves it. And that's it. Take over at the 21. Well, let's uh, see if we can pound this home with Edwards Hilaire. They only have one safety. My action could be the way to go here. Play action could be the way to go. Terry McLaurin. Woo. This is what we needed, a team to just kick the shit out of. Beautiful. You notice that one safety, and with the offensive weapons we have, you take advantage of it. Six seconds for a 21-yard bomb. Good, yeah, it's a good thing Deke isn't here. <laughs> Go figure, the one team we just absolutely smoke, it is Detroit. Ugh. Man, look at Simpson. Jesus. Simpson was fast as hell. Oh my god, they're still gonna throw. Goff, Goff has something to prove. Alright. Let's go. Let's go, Jared. Hiya! Nope. 
Well, not quite a hit stick. Hoping for a, uh, a better hit stick than that. Didn't happen. Goff's going to keep throwing. Wow, what a screen. Corral him out of bounds. I like how they're throwing screen passes. Can we please force a turnover? I like how Goff's just trying to pad his stats at this point. That's the only way to view this. He's trying to pad his stats. Oh my god. Ooh. Ooh. That would have sucked. Press. Marcus, you get on swift here. Got the high towers in. There we go. Nice job, boys. God, that's himself on his fantasy team. Well, they punted this time, so that's good. I had to enjoy the moment. I had to enjoy the moment here. All right. Well, we got 27 seconds to try and go pretty much the entire length of the field. Honestly, we'll see if we can just break off a ridiculous run with Beverly. Oh, he's got quick feet. He's got quick feet. Oh, Monk, it is when the game's not crashing. Or someone's glitching through somebody. Oh, boy. All right. You're going to threaten the mid blitz? All right. Threaten the mid blitz. See if I care. Hiya! Damn it. <laughs> uh, they had one safety covering two fucking guys. <laughs> Whoop. Nope, not quite a whoop. That's okay. It shouldn't have been that close. I mean, it was. Hey, it's kind of dark. And, don't turn off the lights. The game isn't over yet. <laughs> uh, all right, we got to bomb this downfield here. Actually, fuck it. Let's just run it. We got one more timeout left. Edwards Hilaire. Well, still playing. <laughs> Mood lighter. Oh, God. All right. Well, all right. Now we'll run that play action and hopefully catch McLaurin or Ridley. Now Johnson, off play action. Hiya! Damn it. <laughs> uh, 51 to 20. Ron, I am so sorry to have to have done that to you, but the Falcons show up with this dynamite offense. We get a beautiful win. We added a couple of touchdowns ourselves. Um, massive difference between the performance of Jared Goff and Colt Johnson. Edwards Hilaire with 161 yards on the ground. Jesus, McLaurin with two touchdowns. Holcomb with two touchdowns. Only one sack allowed. Goff got the crap kicked out of him by Wilcox. And the pick for AJ Terrell. So again, we bounce back from a season opening loss down in the Superdome. We take two out of three to start our season on the road. Which was uh, nice as AJ Terrell is up to a beautiful 87 overall. Just 25 years old. And hey, what do you know? No further injuries. We get to take on the Chiefs next, so that'll be fun.